Have you been following this? It's crunch time. This fall has been a crazy, crazy season for our business. We have some pretty big goals for this little woodworking business. Goals that we're really excited about. But the tiny one that we're starting out with this holiday season is to accept and deliver every cutting board order we get before Christmas. And so far, it's been pretty manageable. And then Jenny made a huge sale. She busted into the oil and gas market here in Houston and sold 120 boards to one customer. Poof, instantly. Our entire inventory was just gone. Now I'm behind and I'm drowning in cutting board orders. All of the boards, see the 100 boards? Yeah, they're gone. They're all over here. We did not estimate this very well at all. I am in way over my head. But that's okay, I can get it done. It's just a couple hundred boards, but like, it's fine, it's fine. The work has been overwhelming and we've been struggling to keep up. Davis basically disappeared out into the shop for weeks now. We are so thankful for the business, but oh my goodness, it means nose to the grindstone for a while. Like, we literally have not had time for hardly anything else lately. It feels like we've been building boards for forever. Like, last week, Davis had to build 100. And now, this week, he's got to double that and build 200, which is the biggest batch that he has ever built. And he thought he was stressed out and overwhelmed last week. <laughs>
So I made this mega sale by prospecting in different industries. We told you guys a while ago that we were quitting the realtor game. We were gonna search for other clients besides realtors, but we knew there were even bigger fish out there. But when I first started looking into these other industries, it was intimidating because I had to come up with some different strategies and it was taking a while and I didn't know who the best people to, to start with first would be. But then I broke into the oil and gas industry, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while since we're here in Houston and it's just such a big part of the city and they have quite a bit of money to spend because they are larger companies. And finally, all of my hard work paid off when one of the smaller oil and gas companies bought 120 boards without even batting an eye. It was like it was nothing to them. And they were one of the smaller companies. I couldn't believe it. It took very little convincing. Like I had to do less work to sell 120 boards than I've had to do to sell 10 boards to certain realtors. This big order was exactly what we needed to push us to get back on track and to motivate us. So not only are we working on this 120 board order, we're also working to build and fulfill all our other regular Christmas orders. If you're enjoying this video, would you hate me if I asked you to hit the like button? It really helps us to know what type of content you guys enjoy best when we know what you like. So hit the like button. Thanks so much. Now I have to make these 250 boards this week and probably another 100 with the rest of the lumber on the rack next week. And then we've got to engrave and ship them out. But I I trust our systems. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work, but I think we'll get it all done. Or at least I did. We have about four days to ship out 150 boards and then next week we've got to ship out another 90. I think this time we may have bitten off a little more than That's we can chew. Just...